I was doing some barn picking in mid-Missouri and got this Cardinal Speed Vice made in Glendale, California. Found some literature from the 40s on these, but that logo doesn't look too 40s to me, so maybe 60s. A couple problems with this one, it's seized and the handle's broken, so that's no good. Let's fix it. Let's see if we can fix it with fire. Oh, well, loosened up. Boom. Nice. Let's clean it up and make a new one of these. So yeah, that's the gimmick to this one. Fast action. Speed vice. Bam. Bam. Look at that go. Alright. So I researched what the current speed vice handles look like. Something like this. Decided to make my own out of scrap in their style, but not really necessarily to any measurement. Just kind of pulled the numbers out of my own head. Turned it down. Used the mill to cut out the slot. Put the hole in. Put it back in the lathe. Knurled it. Made my own pin. Probably could have bought a pin or found a pin, but had stock for that too. Begs the question of should I completely clean this thing up and restore it? I think since it's so simple, I might just do that. It smells like it had been flooded. It smells like an old river. Doesn't look too bad though. Got a V so I can clamp some pipes in there. I would have swore there'd be a locating pin. I also would have expected a pin or a screw or something to lock that in there. Not sure yet what keeps that in. That was a pain in the ass.
Interesting. Come on. So it looks like this bottom plate can be reversed. I can hide my previous owner's transgressions. It's a nice fresh surface. <laughs> I can only imagine the person was drilling through balsa wood or something and wow, why'd that get so tough? Oh. So this piece looks like it was cut off with a bandsaw. There's still this huge burr here that snapped off. Rough surface, hard to focus on. I think I'm just gonna fly cut that off to match the fly cutting on all the other surfaces. Cause that's just weird. I don't need that. All right, that looks pretty good. I fly cut that to get minimum cleanup. Don't have much edge distance, so I didn't want to take too much material off. Yeah, that'll do. Let's get this thing painted. So I've gone with gloss smoke gray. It's gone on a little thinner than I would like, and it's a little lighter color than I would like. But, oh well. Well, I'm going to have to bust out the razor blade, clean up some of these surfaces. Not a big deal. I had been doing some touch up on the paint. Figured I'd make the logo stand out a little bit more with this black pinstriping paint I had from a kit that I've yet to use. This is probably way too nice for what I'm about to do. And I'm not gonna pinstripe it, I'm gonna use these weird foam applicator things I found. I don't know, I'm just making it up as I go. I have no idea what I'm doing. I got it way too thick on the first one. Uh, 
gets a little difficult. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. This is like too shiny, I can't freaking see. I can only see when it goes wrong. That was like the right amount. Damn. I went in too strong. Whoops. <laughs> Still going too strong. Two dabs was too much. One dab was all I needed. A little dab will do you, okay? Don't do it. Don't do it. So the weird foam thing that I found wasn't really bad, but I should have used something with a flat square edge. This allowed it to get a little too soft around the edges. Well, I'm itching to put this back together. I see a couple spots on the gray paint that I'll need to touch up, but I'm okay with it for now. I am going to use this bottom side of this plate just so that any new marks will be from me. I'll take ownership of that. It is pitted a little from where it had sat and rusted, but I thought about getting it surface ground and I'm not going to bother doing that yet. My friend has a surface grinder, but if I change my mind, I can take it back off in a minute, so no big deal. Notice that it says tool room, wondering what kind of life it had. Because where I found it was a farmer's barn. I want to put grease on that, but grease will just catch chips. So I'll just be sure, be sure to oil it, which I'll forget to do.
don't remember which side had the V, but the fixed jaw makes sense. About time to install that handle. Is that an anvil in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? Well, there it is. This one is done. This might be the first project I've ever finished or restored. All my other projects are works in progress.